Hello, this video is to show you how we can import some coordinates, uh, some nodes with some x and y coordinates into Abacus CAE, which you can use that uh, nodes to create a part and generate some mesh or modeling or anything else. Okay, when you open up Abacus CAE, uh, first, let's show you that um, what kind of inputs we need to do this mesh generation. There's a Python script. There's a simple Python script with this content. I will uh, upload it somewhere that you can use. And we need a CSV file containing the coordinates that we want to create a part according to them. Uh, this is some sample coordinates for some geometry like this. And I want to um, create a domain to generate uh, some uh, quadratic or triang triangular mesh according to these uh, nodes. Okay. In our CAE in file menu, we have a run a script. Click on this, and there should be a, a folder named as temp or any work work uh, work directory that you can choose here. And in this folder, you should. Uh, place your script and also your coordinates in csv file in this folder here uh, the coordinates that uh, this uh, script this python script reads uh, does not have any node number or anything else just a column containing x coordinates and a co another column containing y coordinates so you We'll use this uh, run script menu and choose uh, the Python script. Okay. Then here in the sketch part, you can see that the coordinates will be shown here. Then uh, to create a domain, we need to make some limitation here actually we need to define our domain uh, this is uh, x0 and y0 so let's uh, define another node at x minus 10,000 and 0 oh no Uh, this is uh, too long, so we define another node at x minus 5000 and 0. Well, this is much better, and another at minus 5000 and minus. 2500 okay next one in uh, the last coordinate we have here is x5000 so we define another one as uh, 10,000 and minus 2500 The next one in 10,000 and 0. And the last one, you can just click the last node that you have. Okay, and just press the escape key. Here is our domain. So, we want to create a part according to these nodes. Just click on uh, down here. 
and go to the part menu uh, so our part would be a two-dimensional planner part the approximate size would be about um, thousand maybe it's not so important because it will be defined according to the coordinates of the space that we will import here then uh, here we have a, an add sketch button and our sketch is uh, here click on it okay uh, this is this ask that uh, if you want to translate it means uh, to move this sketch somewhere else or rotate or some kind of geometrical uh, tr translation but we will just click on done well and another time done oh there is a problem here sections must not have seven or six there shouldn't there's an intersect somewhere uh-huh yeah the problem is here okay we come here delete this I delete this done and also delete this okay let's check if the problem will be solved once again also we can generate this uh, nodes in this part menu instead of that sketch that we will uh, we have done before it should be okay now okay so and the next, ne the next step would be to define a mesh for this model. Here we have a mesh menu. Before defining the mesh sizes and etc., we need to uh, we need to tell the abacus to just use a quadratic or triangular or every kind of node that we need. So, in this mesh control part, here, the default would be quad dominated. It means that uh, the quadratic and triangular no mesh uh, would be both used. But if you want uh, the vehicles to just use triangular or quadratic uh, elements, you should uh, change this default option. And also about the free, you know, the kind of mesh generation to be free or structured or anything else, but we let it be free. Quadratic. Okay. Then uh, the mesh size. In fact, you need to define the seats. The seats. The default would be. Uh, would be defined uh, according to the size of your model you can change it easily as you can see it's so much big so i will put it to 100 this is much better now okay and the next step would be mesh part and just click on it Okay, to mesh the part, yes, and this is our mesh. So, here's our mesh. We should export this mesh to use in our third party app. But uh, before that, I want to set some, make some sets, uh, for example, in, the, in this uh, modeling software that I want to use. I should uh, tell the code to uh, recognize the left part 
the right part, the left part, and the bottom of surface nodes. So I define some sets here. Create a set, node set. It can also be element set or geometry set, but I want to tell it to be a node set. The right side nodes. Okay. In this part, uh, if you choose it to be individually, when you click it, uh, it choose it choose the only one node each time. But there are other options. I choose this one by features. Okay. But there's a problem here. Uh, I should define all the edges, uh, right, bottoms, and surface, and left. But as you can see, there are nodes here that is a uh, is actually would be in both edges. For example, I can't uh, define this node to be in both uh, right side and bottom side. So only I choose this nodes on on bottom and surface this node and this node here would be problematic these two nodes so when i choose by feature edge and uh, select all the nodes of this edge then i will change it to individually zoom it and uh, I hold Ctrl key and click on this. Once again, Ctrl key and click on this. Okay, these are my right side nodes. Done. The next set is uh, left node feature edge, then individually. I hold control and click on this. Hold control and click on this one. Done. The bottom notes. Continue. Feature edge and all of them, including this last ones. Set. Uh, in this special case that I have curves here, uh, there's a problem with uh, the surface nodes. When I choose this feature edge option, you can see that it just uh, chose the edges. Actually, when this considers this part as another edge, so I have to. Select this, hold control, and click on this also. Hold con oh, I guess I should hold shift. Yeah, shift, 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 and click. You should be careful about some single notes. In all these parts, I hold uh, I hold Shift key and this. Okay, the surface node nodes are completed. Done. Let's check it. We have in Set Manager, we have four sets. All types are nodes. Uh, and uh, everything is okay. Uh, we should, I guess, we are done here. Yeah, we are okay. The next part would be to add our mesh to assembly. Yeah, come to assembly, click on this part one. Okay, 
that's okay. And the last step is to make a job. Job one, or you can any name that you want to name it. Okay, continue. Here in this general tab, I tick all these options. Okay, then click on this plus sign, right click on this uh, job name, and click on right input. It says that there's another job one in the folder, in this, that temp folder that I sh have shown you before and it want to replace it if you if it is your uh, first job or you name it something else there should not be any problem okay anyway so that's it this is our job let's open it yeah this is our notes we had couple of I guess three thousand how many yeah we have about five uh, thousand nodes coordinates x and y let's open it in Excel Yes, comma separated value phi. Okay, this is the coordinates zero to five thousand. As you can see, all the nodes are here, and the next part are the elements. The type is quadratic and for noted uh, elements only quadratic. You have no triangular mesh here. The first element, for example, this uh, element here, this element here, these four nodes, uh, this element is containing uh, node number 1282, uh, 1049, 1, and 202. These are the nodes of each element. And in the last part, we have our sets. The right side nodes are containing uh, these nodes. The left side uh, set contains these nodes, and the bottom set and the surface. We can use this uh, data for any modeling program or any code that we want that needs to needs mesh. Actually, our need mesh generation for any kind of numeric analysis or anything else. I will record another video later to talk about using this file for spectral element modeling with uh, specific codes. Thank you.